Hi, I'm Eugene from Aplas 3D. Today I will tell you how to do inventory in Easy Stone Shop. Let's say you wish to add all your products to the system, keep and edit information about them all the time. So we follow to the inventory module where this can be done. To the left you can see the list of categories your products are divided into. Granite, marble, tile and so on. If category All is selected, to the right you can see the list of all products. But if we select a concrete category, for example Granite, you can see that the list is being shortened and here is only Granite. Below you can edit the selected category. Remove the one that you do not need or create a new one. While creating a new category you can choose name for it and choose units of measurement as well as the product type. Now I will add a new product, let it be marble. If before adding a product you do not choose a category, your product will be placed into all category. So I chose marble category, click on edit button and choose add product. After you added a product you are at once redirected to the page of its profile. It has two sections. In product information section you can change and save the information about this product, change its name, color, category, stock keeping unit, Choose how much you have of this product in stock, its origin and thickness. Also here you choose price of this product. If you wish each of your clients had one and the same price for this product, you may fill in price 1 field and pay no attention to others. But if you wish different clients had different prices for this product, you have to fill in other fields as well and you must do the same thing with every new product you add. A bit later, when you add clients to the system, you will choose a price level from 1 to 6 for each client in his profile. So for client with price level 2, this product will cost $20 and for client with price level 6, this product will cost $27. Also in this section you may choose another thumbnail and upload it here. In stock section of the products profile is responsible for keeping not general information about the product but the information about the concrete slabs. Here they are called units. They appear in this section after you mark them as delivered in purchases module. If you have no slabs here it means that you haven't yet worked with that module. A bit later I will make another video showing how to manage purchases in Easy Stone Shop, but now let's see what can be done in this section. First of all here you can upload a photo of your slab.
and add some notes about it. Then you can edit the information about this slab. You can edit the size, change location, bin, serial number, lot, bundle, block of the slab. Choose whether this slab is a remnant or not. And so on. To the right there is an editable information about the purchase of this slab its supplier, information about purchase number, invoice number, date when the purchase was made, its cost, and finally the status of the slab, available, hold, sold, allocated. Finally this section allows to print text with QR codes and barcodes, You can see how it is done in another video of ours if you visit easystoneshop.com support section. Thanks for watching this video. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook for the upcoming updates. Thank you.